Damn it, Snow, cancel, just cancel Shabasana. Just have to think about that for a sec. This guy, yep, there we go, fine, I can get him to uh, scout around, and uh, yeah, this guy can just return back, I suppose. Yes, yeah, Scott won't even bother get him to scout that other crap. <coughs> but yes, uh, just wondering, because yes, we do have this oasis right here. Could be what I've found there. The thing is, I think it'll. Uh, Railingvig, that's a bizarre name. I think it'll have to um, expand its cultural radius twice yet to reach it. Uh, God damn it. And there we go, Pros Prophecy of Ragnarok has finally been built. A Prophecy of Ragnarok. Disciple units for surplus to experience points. Actually, that could come in handy, especially since I've got the spiritual trait, which gives a further bonuses to, uh, to those uh, priests and all that. Uh, let's see. Uh, it doesn't really add much. Probably be better off with a market more so than anything else. And plus one, and yeah, not really necessary. Oh, actually, I don't have any. Damn it, I don't have any happiness producing buildings left for this. Ah, uh, well, what can you do? I suppose we'll just get the bloody market and uh, see about next turn. So, anyway, let's see how many turns will this will take now. Oh, 41 freaking turns, but. Uh, God damn it. I suppose I could sort of cut through here. It's, damn, it's not really an ideal solution. Ah, uh, god damn deserts. Screwing me over. And gargoyles, god damn gargoyles too. Speaking of which, I forgot to switch to aristocracy. Whoops, you Oh, which would diminish my food supplies even further, but it'll still be better than God King once that your civilization gets big enough, so. But I suppose you get extra money, so I suppose it's not too bad. Region, Prinshiminism, blah blah, okay. Bam. And as for this guy, what to do, what to do? I wonder how close our food nights it's god damn it. Hmm. Well, unfortunately there aren't really any ideal solutions, and yeah, that's just the coast that leads out into the open ocean. That that's that's not a source of fresh water, of course. Uh, a bit of a sticky situation. Hmm. Damn it to hell. Uh, actually, wait a minute. I think there's a particular technology you can research so that you can build farms without uh, irrigation, but it doesn't come until a little bit later. Let's see, smelting. Ah, wait a minute, is it medicine? Let's try. Ah, no, that's not a sanitation. Blah blah blah. Damn you to hell. Really? Is that how they're gonna play it? Yeah, that's how they're gonna play it. Damn it. I can't, I can't, I can only build it next to f sources of fresh water. Damn it. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually, it was a construction. Farm spread. Oh, oh, that's right. So they won't even spread irrigation until I can get that. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, that's just freaking. Dandy. Now, oh, what can you do? Okay, blah blah blah. Alright, I guess we'll. Uh, God. Uh, I guess I might as well build a lumber mill. I suppose it's not like as if I can't just trash it afterwards, but still. <coughs> kind of limiting the growth of my cities here a bit. Now, yeah, well, anyway, got a courthouse built. So that just leaves a mage guild file enough. Although I want to concentrate most of my production on my capital now that I've got the Prophecy of Ragnarok there. But there's nothing really else to... B Actually, wait a minute, I can still build a worker. There we go. So I just don't need that city to grow. This city though, on the other hand, yes, so it needs to grow. And what the hell, get it to build a, uh, a granary next. There we go. Uh, what the hell is this guy doing here? Oh, that's right, he was building a road. Yes, there's a road there. Okay, we'll give him... Carries also and continue onwards uh, to victory. And speaking of which, oh, okay, I guess there's not really much for my scouts there either. Where the hell are these other civilizations? There's eight rivals, so we've encountered three so far, so we should encounter five more somewhere. And world map. I don't really like to, but uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, god damn it, doesn't matter. Well, what the hell, I guess they'll avert war for the time being. Uh, let's see, Mage Guild. Wait a minute, what does this prophecy rate? Blah, 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 blah. Disciple units receive plus two. Ah, oh, okay, but it's not arcane units, though. 
Okay. Yeah, should I just... Actually, no, wait a minute. Let's train some bloody archers to actually defend my cities. Let's see, so... One, two, and... That's it. Okay, so two archers to train. Actually, what about a settler, maybe? I still might be able to settle around here. Huh. Damn, there's not really any ideal ways to exploit these resources. There's just too much bloody tundra and ice everywhere. Huh. And from what I can tell, yeah, just forests there with, with bloody tundras. And of course, no sources of fresh water either. We ought to get a bit of food from the sheep though, but... Uh, dear, well, I have to get fucking hunting for that. God damn it, but we can get fish. But oh, seems like a bit of a waste though. I suppose the only other place to expand to would be down here, maybe. Yeah, that is an interesting thing to consider. I'll have to watch out for those freaking gargoyles though. And something tells me... Doviello might be on the warpath, I'm not entirely sure. Doviello, ah, they're annoyed at me. They're annoyed at me, and I think they've got more power than I do, which is just freaking dandy. But I'll have my own religion soon, and... Finally have bloody archers to actually defend. So anyway, if they're going to march on me then, I'd... Probably should marshal my forces to where exactly? This master to Kuldevind? Aine Kuldevind? Alright, why not? So just as a bit of a preemptive measure and no archers. Oh no soldiers in there, just archers, okay. And yeah, get those bloody warriors moving as well. As quickly as possible. Actually probably should be improving Galvanholm to my uh, workers now that I think of it. But anyway, if he's going to march... Nope, he's not going to march. Well, what the hell, it wouldn't hurt to take out that damn gargoyle anyway. As, as for expansion... Uh, one, two, one... Two... Uh, it doesn't matter that it's occupying these squares. I suppose we still get deer once, get hunting, get that mana node, and avoid most of the shitty terrain. Still going to be a bit tricky. Oh, wait a minute, do have a source. Oh, fresh water, that's pretty good. Just get fresh water. Um, irrigated farms to this city here. So, what was it? One, two, one, two. Well, uh, of course, if I go just one lot more over, I'll get sheep instead of deer, though. Yeah, I don't have it either. Though. I've got deer in my territory, though, yes. Then I'll be using resources from damn it, and not as much grass and things. Okay, screw it, I think I'll settle down there then. Okay, so we'll just get ourselves whoops, one more archer, so get the initial one to go down there, and I believe we need a settler as well. Let's see. Grotty Burg, I suppose, could be the next. Yep, build a settler straight after. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute, what about Tungrestad? Tungrestad has actually got this greater production for capability, that's ridiculous. Uh, okay. Interesting. Ah, uh, okay. I probably should be improving a bit more the terrain, though, of course. So, once I get the worker from there, though, I suppose I can uh, set about doing that. It's this thing. Oh, that's right. It's not irrigated. Well, that's. Oh, that's right. It's stagnant. Huh. Well, it wouldn't have to have a bit more farmland here, and also it would irrigate this uh, corn as well. Just wish we didn't have that annoying part of the. Uh, Aggregarian. Really? Fucking Griffin, really. Uh, and I play getting cold feet on something like that. Oh, well, anyway, squirt. Just forget about that, we'll continue onwards. But yeah, I just wish I didn't get. So that's, that's a penalty from uh, having one hammer reduced in terms of production for uh, farms, which I believe is what we have. Yep. Though, yeah, it's still pretty good. Um, Still pretty good to have agrarianism. They get all those other bonuses instead. Uh, I'll consider uh, make sure I can't do that. Need yeah, flesh of leaves. God damn it. Well, agrarianism will only last so long anyway, because eventually I'll have hell, have hell terrain, which turns uh, farms into some sort of snake pillars, which uh, well, it provides different bonuses, but not in terms of food. But that's when you use things like um, sacrifices the uh, the weak civic to get. Um, uh, so, yeah, your population only consumes one food each, but uh, anyway, 
moving on, let's see, yeah, show me the... Well, I suppose since we're going to be expanding down here, I probably should get the damn hunting thing imaging after, uh, after getting uh, corruption of spirits, so hunting, yep, and also help with spotting uh, hidden stuff as well, since only the bloody, well, the hawk is the earliest thing you can do, you can use to actually see stealthed units. The scout can see stealthed animals, but, um, show us my other scout, oh there he is. And where is he off to? But yeah, they can see stealth animals, but not um, s other stealth units, which uh, are just freaking dandy. Anyway, before I go, keep going on bloody tangents, let's uh, get these bloody workers to work. Uh, let's see, let's try, I've got that happening. Yeah, let's try that worker was there. Yeah, let's screw it, we'll get him to build a uh, little, uh, not workshop, a uh, lumber yard, that's right. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. Sage, merchant, engineer, siege worship, or forge. Oh, that's right, any construction for that. Oh, no, just freaking dandy. I suppose I can improve... What can I improve, actually? That's farmland. These two have been improved. Implementation. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so just these three squares. Well, three is better than nothing. Especially if I'm going to get these units down with the... Uh, Mark of Ragnarok. So hopefully we should see an increase in... Uh, God damn, this thing's just been continually decreasing. I think it de decreases slightly on its own. Uh, it's going to be a nice little uphill battle to try to get that damn thing up. Anyway, I managed to get this thing up and running at the very least, and... Carnival... Yeah, screw it, why not? Get more uh, culture coming in at the very least, and I don't believe anything else is necessary. There we go, perfect. Actually, what the hell are my special buildings as they shame anyway? Besides the, um... Ah, crap, sorry, I felt bad. Alright, uh, um, aside from the planet gates, let's see, civilizations, sheen, uh, wormholes, pfft, wormholes really, and I don't get freaking berserkers of mortals or of phalanxes as well, it's just freaking dandy. Freaking dandy indeed. Now what can you do? <coughs> just got this guy here, and there we go. Creation is created, blah, blah blah perfect, so it should come in handy. And we'll just send him down. Crap, what the hell is it going to send? Ah, here, I think. It's funny, it looks like there's a bit of snow there, but it, if you can read that, it says forest slash plains, it's not actually tundra. But uh, I guess we'll send him down here. And yeah, these mountains here won't really matter. We're that close to the stone vix, so we'll just send the bastard there. Perfect. Yeah, get more of that cow resources as well. Why not, eh? Why not? Probably no, no point building a road all the way down there, though. This bloody dove yellow culture, I'm sure, is going to spread far too... Well, going to spread, spread and then that road will basically be theirs, which uh, is kind of ridiculous. What can you do? So anyway, I managed to build a monument at the very least, I suppose. Yeah, we'll just uh, continue the usual path for that particular city. Probably could uh, be queuing a few more things up, but uh, what the hell, I mean, I don't have too many... Uh, cities at the moment anyway, it's not exactly a massive empire. In fact, wait a minute... Optics... Damn it, they... Oh, God damn it. Uh, let's see, galley. Damn it, they um, set it in the... Uh, that more naval AI mod that this mod's based on now. Uh, that the galley can enter the ocean uh, once you get optics researched, but unfortunately a the mod mod, that's... Uh, not the case, which uh, kind of sucks. Uh, let's see, they can't enter the damn ocean either. Blah blah, reveals pearls are pretty nice. Cause yeah, so I'm thinking of just expanding to the new world instead, but uh, in order to get that, they, like, what does the cow require? Just optics. Yeah, I'll have to get optics at the very least to get a bloody cavalry. Even then, it's only got one cargo space, so I'll have to uh, get the expanded. Oh, yep. Oh no, that's the uh, an actual promotion. Uh, that's right, Buccaneers, I'm sure. Then. What the hell is the other thing? Ah, Skeleton Crew, of course. So I get additional cargo space at the cost of strength. And those things aren't exactly very strong to begin with. So let's watch out for freaking pirates and all that. But then again, I suppose that's sort of how sailing started off as being incredibly dangerous. Fortunately, we still do we still have uh, pirates nowadays, although they're of a different sort. Well, they sort of do similar things, but... Yeah, not really the same, though. And what the hell? Ulfen of the aliens, really? They're rising up against the Khazar. Wow, that's uh, uh that's pretty.